Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part six of Let's Play The Dark Lady of Nuln. Well, we're going to end our turn again as we try to kind of convince uh, good old Vladdy boy to come and play with us. As honestly, we are better fighting on the defensive, or at least I am, against him. And I'm trying to force him into bad positions against me. He's just... He literally walked around me. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, there goes my entire army at the moot. But now at least he's out. You know, at least he's, you know. Well, there goes, like, all the people I had there. Yeah, I'm not going to bother rebuilding that. Come here. Yeah, he's running away because he knows I'm going to slap him about now. A wanker. Okay, look, good thing is, I don't have to rebuild that. Of the pale I also get uh, some schematics, but we actually Sigma need to beat, win the fight for some good schematics. Oh, he's weakened his army. Well, I'm still going to absolutely screw myself over by doing this battle. That's, after all, pardon me. Where would the fun be if I didn't do this battle and horrifically fuck it up? Good thing is they don't have any units that are really annoying in terms of wolves. Let's channel some magic and hope that our good Elspeth can have some level of... She gets up to 13. So the main point of the main goal of the handgun is, is to blow the ever-living shit out of... Uh, well, they have living shit out of uh, Vlad. Outside of that, they have no job. If I can get up there in time. By the grave guard. Good, they're already shooting at the right unit. Uh, they are 70. They, oh, sorry, they're 78. Yeah, they should not be able to catch you. But for some reason, they are, as always, they're able to keep up with you. No matter what you do. Yep, see what I mean? They just caught up with them. Hey, uh, guys, you're meant to shoot there. And say so there's only one unit we care about killing. And his name is Vlad Vlad the biggest bell end in the world. Are you involved there? We are Sigma's heads. Sigma guides us. Take position. So, uh, steam engine, get going. Let's fucking speed you up as well. Go on, fucking get in there. Get fucking wrecked, mate. Go play with Vlad. Get gunners over here. Elspeth. The dead call. Sigma wills it. For the twin tail. I don't even give a shit who gets hit by this. I'll hit my own units. I don't care. Do it. Hey, bye bye, Vlad. Whether Vlad likes it or not, he's gonna get ricked. And, and by ricked, I mean wrecked. Let's just ignore the fact that I said Rick and uh, move on. All right. There we go. Vladdy, da Vladdy Daddy's dead. Or Daddy Vlad, whatever you want to call him, he's dead. Keep fighting them. You guys keep fighting there. And now we have the perfect situation. Yeah, Steve Tank has actually helped us a lot. And she's just not killing anyone. Holy shit, you suck. Like, Elsbeth, what's going on? You're meant to be, like, a really good... I thought you were meant to be great. Honestly, you've fucking disappointed me at every step of the way so far. Honestly, I'm, I'm extremely disappointed in Elsbeth herself right now. I still think everything else about her campaign is cool, but specifically Elsbeth, I'm not overly fond of. Like, she's just... I don't know. Her spells are a bit like she, it's a thousand kills with her, or I mean, or, or Amethyst uh, wizards. But like, 
a thousand kills with her when she has like one damage spell. The rest are all buffs and debuffs. It's like, okay, cool. She can run around kind of stabbing people, but even then, she's not built for that. She's a wizard. It's just it's a bit weird. Like a thousand kills with an army, easy. That's like, obviously easy. I mean, we've done that pretty much every time we fought, apart from this time, every time we've hit an army of lads. It's just it's a bit dumb, you know? A bit dumb. Uh, a lord may be promoted. That's not fit to do. I don't think it's anything to do with me. A moment yeah, I'll take my replenishment. Thank you. My boy I'll has a me he's a the boy here has a mechanical him. steed. Fortunately, does not show him using it. That's a shame. Um, get range on you. Amethyst magistrate. Unsettling radiance. Oh. Oh, that's Every really fucking good, actually. Uh, we could I go take Fort Obstia, but I don't really know if it would be worth it or smart. One thing we should do, though, is recruit ourselves a Master Engineer here. Master Engineer. Just gave me another grand, so let's recruit two of those. Two of those and one of you. And then in our uh, thing here, actually, we won't recruit you. We'll recruit two of you and then three of you. And then we'll, uh, we'll also recruit a third of you. We just spent all of my money, but we're going to be doing Master it to build up a brand new army here to actually, you know, be useful. Let's go Shaish. take four Obstia because we need to do something against these asswipes. Uh, give you back that. And as I've got, I just want an easy fight. Let's do it. Sometimes easy fights are like the, they kind of help you build your confidence back up after harder ones help you build up you know your uh, sense of like abilities or in this case i just want i just want to wreck some vampires without you know vladdy daddy being right there and being an absolute prick because you know also i'm gonna i will stop eventually calling him vladdy daddy i just don't know when the good thing is i can use my handgunners as they were fucking intended to be used this time which is great What's his mechanical steed look like? Oh, that looks min. Okay, we'll put you there. Put you there. Spiriter of Shaish. Yeah, Elspeth, you could not. Yeah, see, she has no. She has three damaging spells. Sorry. The only problem is most of her damaging spells are stupidly expensive. So how the fuck am I meant to like? And with the fact that she like had never has any goddamn magic, what am I meant to do? I think that's the biggest issue. There just doesn't seem to be. Also, well done, Joe. You just you put your fucking cannons on the one flank you really didn't want them on. Okay, my null nine side is going to be absolutely obliter obliterating them. Yeah, go for it. Shoot that with them. I do love the mechanical speed, though. That's so fucking cool. Like, honestly, this the, everything about this exp everything about this is amazing. Like, they the, the guys behind this, the team at C CA, honestly, have outdone themselves, in my opinion, in this for this patch. Go use that against Skeletal Warriors. Okay, once you've used that... Oh, yeah, you, you, you need to run over there. Good, she's now at least getting some kills in some sense. Whether or not she's actually getting any kills, I don't know, but still. Really doesn't fucking matter, just... Worst case scenario, we'll just chuck her into combat like we're about to. Slowly but surely, she will get the Pale Scythe. That's the best way to look at it. She will get it. It just, it'll take a while. Ah, okay, they, right. I actually, this is like, I've, I've just noticed that they, they've uh, redone where they put the thing. Oh yeah, you guys just stop fucking, please stop firing. You're going to kill our own troops more than you kill our enemies. Like... These poor bloody handgunners have gone down from eight, like 90 to whatever they are now. 
He's got seven kills for... And unfortunately, the battle ended before she could get any more. But hey, we now have got four Obstire. Do I intend to keep it? Uh, probably, yeah, because it's just better to have it than not have it. Even if we lose it, it's better to have it and force Vlad to come to me. But she's added another eight kills to her ledger. She's getting there. I don't understand that quote much, but what are you going to do? Only 56 schematics for that? So close. So close. And we've now got Grundle's Defenders. Elspeth von Drachen. Amethyst Guardian. Sorry, what do we want in here? Winds of Magic. Okay, that's good. The Graveyard Rose. Wound recovery time. She gets regenerate and her she replenishes. The Dark Lady, passive ability to living darkness. And uh, advisor of known. We do have quite a few of those units, so she would actually cheapen her. I'm going to go for the Graveyard Rose first and give her I and her army replenishment. This. And slowly, the more we take, the better we will be as well. Master also, engineer. I will chuck him in there next turn. I choose only the best. Uh, yeah, recruit a spearman as well. Like we just want as many troops in there as possible. Now I know I could upgrade something here, but honestly, I, I want to get some uh, amethyst outriders. I think because I love outriders. Um, any diplomacy to be done? Yes. You Allison wants to be on side. Good. All right. Anyone else want to be on side? No, but Sylvania just really wants none of this fucking smoke anymore. They're like, please go away. The real problem is I'm pretty sure the moot is going to just get taken at this rate. After went to war on side of the ally. I am busy. Yeah, the only way I'm getting away, I guess Sylvania is getting away from me is if they give me like... Ten grand to leave me alone for them to be left alone. Chaos will always be brought to order. Ah, the adventures of Gortek and Felix. You want me to fight a Slaneshi, and I can get Gortek and Felix. And Death's Timekeeper. Ah, no, this is the Death's Timekeeper, which is. One of her uh, abilities. She gets perfect vigor and a direct damage spell. Damn, that's cool. Amethyst mage. Uh, what is that? Uh, there's not that many good defenders there. I probably will just attack. I think. Join me. For the, the good thing is, I can attack there now with this army. Do I think I could win? Invention is my gift. Uh, the now I do, yeah. Now, now I do, yeah. Strong. With one extra unit, I think I can. I suddenly think I can win. The game also kind of agrees. All right, go on then. Let's do this. If we can take this, we're essentially just being an absolute jammy git to the uh, to the vampires and just taking their stuff. The good thing is, I'm gonna get to use my unit that I've really wanted to use for a while. We also get to use Grundle's defenders, who are really cool looking spearmen. Damn, our spearmen fucking suck. But, you know, that's not the point. We also have Helberdeers, which is great. So let's have a look at the Grundle spearmen, because it's been a while since I've looked at them. Yeah, look at these badasses. Oh, they look cool. They're a tier 2 instead of a tier 1 unit. Yay! That's really still not fucking anything, isn't it? Right, so, null 9 insiders, I want it in front. Auckland long rifles, we're going to put on the flank. Mortars right here. Imperial Inventor right there. We are ready. Falcon Long Rifles, you are going to very specifically... Uh, you're going to very specifically choose to fire at, you know, units that are going to be more annoying. Like the Skeletal Spearman. Master Engineer! 
what do the Hockland long rifles look like? They look pretty much where you'd expect them to. They look like a bunch of sniper rifles. Yeah, ignore them because at the moment they're uh, just, you know, they're actually kind of well hidden. Show us the foe for the twin tailed comet. Spearman. Formation. Ah! Yeah, I don't know how the fuck you think I'm going to win this game, but okay. Because I kind of don't. Oh, they do have some grave guard, which is going to be a problem. I did forget about the grave guard, to be honest. The, ra the normal spearmen are just going to suck horribly at fighting anything here. But that's okay. What's this? He has restock. That's not really an ability we need right now. So let's not worry about it. Let's fight those skeletal warriors. And let's bring you... Let's just let you shoot at whoever the fuck you want to shoot at. Yeah, the Hawkland Long Rifles are just going to do what they do best, which is continue to fire no matter what. Fire, let's fire our mortars of the Graveguard. Yeah, those Skeletal Spearmen are probably just going to get sniped to high heaven. Quickly replenish him. Yeah, those uh, Dwarves are not going to be able to beat the Grundles boys. And they're called, they've got Rear Guardian, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to run you up here. I'm going to run you here. Actually, I'm going to run you here so I can try and use you there. Yeah, those skeletal spearmen are going to get absolutely shit shot out of them, as you'd expect. The good thing about mortars is I think the more they shoot, the more accurate they get. Which is kind of what you want from them. You know, you want them to be accurate at some point. But you don't need them to be deadly accurate the first second, you know? You know what? Can you go? Can you go do that? I don't want my Hawkland Long Rifles getting uh, mobbed. Personally, because you know they're my favorite unit now. Still, easily, they're awesome. Okay, no, you guys need to stop firing now. Like, I, I love you. I love mortars, but no, you just, you're not doing yourself any good right now. The all nine sides, they, yeah, they have like normal handguns, room. These badasses have the uh, actual sniper rifles. Or long rifles, as they're quite lovingly called in the Empire. I see what the game meant about me being able to win this, though. There we go. Yeah, I see what they meant about a decisive victory right there. Hulk and long rifles are actually... I would say... I would actually say very honestly, they are much better than um, crane gunners. They just... They, they move around easier because there's only... like they're just, they're just a single guy carrying a rifle instead of two people, like, you know, with a shield and that. And generally speaking, they just... They actually seem to hit more. Whether that's just my experience of... I'm, I'm sorry. My inability to play the... Uh, the... um uh, What's it called? Well, that could be it. It could be that I just suck with um, the crane gunners, but I don't think that's the case. Or at least I don't think it's completely the case. I generally think the Hawkland long rifles are better in general. Only 54, so no, we still know Amethyst yet. Uh, shit, yeah, let's build this place up to defend it. Why not? All right, so what Master ability does he engineer. get? So he gets Survivalist, and he can have two points into that straight away. He eventually gets Pigeon Bombs or Autography. He eventually gets a steam tank. That's fucking awesome. Uh, let's give him survivalist just because it's Upgrades the best. Are vital. Let me take um, a look at you. Now the only real issue is now I can't use the uh, the moot no, to recruit quickly. Pioneer so recruited. I'm just gonna grab two more spear units for now. Elspeth von Drachen. Could go take needling. Essentially, we could pull back and take over here or we can push into his good territory and take stuff that's 
quite possibly more useful to him than it is uh, not. Grand inventor. And if we get really lucky, we'll be able to, you know, unlock ourselves an Amethyst Outrider. I know the game wants me to have uh, Amethyst Ironsiders, but fuck you, I don't want them. I want the others first. We could get a, a, a Bunya Bombard, but I, I'm going to stick to... Wait, 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 let me read that one, it says. Wrong one. Is this just like... Do we actually like have to like purchase them consistently Lady or do we always Shai like... Do we just purchase up to 20 and then that's it, we've got 20. For also, I know we can break this open because we have a steam tank, which means I don't need to weigh, which means we're just going to go immediately into breaking this, the wall down and having a lot of fun. So we're able to put the hurt on Sylvania something fierce right now, which is good. Just fuck Sylvania. The pain's in the ass. So what we'll do is we'll just, we'll probably attack here. We'll charge our steam tank in and just break in and just start killing everything. I don't think I'm going to waste my time with the walls at all. They also have no ranged weapons, and I can blow the fuck out of the... I can literally destroy the um, the uh, towers with cannon fire. That might be how we do this. I might speed up the majority of the beginning of the fight and just break all of their cannons. Or all of their towers. And if we attack from over here, there's even... You know, if we attack this side, there's like no towers anyway. Right, so we'll uh, get the guns up there. You there. You there. Emperor's might. We dipshits over here. Elspeth right there. Uh, sorry, not you two. You two right here. Steam tank right there. We are and cannons right here. Right, you. We are the Destroy that graveguard, you. Where's the other grave guard? Yeah, they're not close enough, so we'll just... Oh, wait, no, are they on the wall? Get on the wall. Uh, and then cannon, break down the door. And we'll just let some magic siphon in as we, uh... Just, you know, kill some people before we actually bother going inside. Okay, Hailstorm, go there. Shoot at whoever the fuck you want to shoot. You know, those skeletal warriors there, shoot at them. Okay. Uh, you break down the gate as well. Okay, so we broke down the gates. Let's at least put our troops up a little bit closer. Not that we need to. In the strictest sense. But we can. Let's let like you guys shoot whoever the fuck you want, you know? What do you bid? Take the ground. Yeah, we'll bring you up as well. Why the not? And Elspeth? She needs to get to level 16. Because once she's at level 16, we are fucking sorted. You know, Elspeth, get Shall right up to the gate. We're going to need to throw... Where, wherever we can find some grave guard, I'm going to need to throw this on them. She can get there. She'll get there quick. She'll get there quicker if she doesn't fuck about, you know, running through men. But, oh, right. We're actually now close enough for most of our guns to fire as well. Oh, fuck you, you twats. All we have to do now is get loads of kills with you and we're golden. Like, it doesn't even matter who dies. As long as someone dies, that's what matters. See, this is what, like, happens when this is a... Wait, it's not even moving. Oh, no, it is moving. Just, like, the slowest fucking thing ever. Fair enough. Um, yeah, we've killed... Nowhere near as... Like, we've done a lot of damage, but then you realize they've still got loads of troops back there and you just kind of laugh to yourself. Uh, let's bring you guys up here. I'll uh, do a little bit of speeding up again just to try and get myself some uh, stuff. I'm going to move pull Elspeth back again because, oh, she has, like, 
only seven left in reserve. So she doesn't really have as much as I was hoping. I'm going to move you right there so you can just shoot through the uh, front door. Kill for warriors. Like I said, this, this fight is less for uh, to actually do the fight properly and more Mage to just of kind of chuck uh, like deaths into... Uh, just try and get some deaths going for us so we can, uh, you know, do some, you know, good stuff. That's right. Run over here, you dumb bitch. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Over and out. So Elsbeth does not need to be in there anymore. I like how my fucking steam tank has a, mind, a literal mind of its own. It's like, I'm moving up there. Fuck you guys. Ready for war. We have a little guy on top. Use like We have three different guns on that bad boy. Directional missile block. Yeah, shit like a normal tank. Shit from the rear. All right, it's time we got into combat now, I think. Oh, yeah, we left our knights all the way over here. Let's, uh... Don't see the point even breaking open other gates. Uh... Right, let's bring you guys up again as well. Off you go. Go break these zombies. Oh, wait, no, no, there's some crypt ghouls. Go break them instead. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. oh this is going to go fucking beautifully. You can just tell it's not going to go well for the enemy with the way it's been going. It's just beautiful. All right, let's ten, send Sigma Suns in first. And we'll reorganize so that way you know the other units can go in one after another the fact that i also nearly used a full steam engine still a full steam tanks like the stuff is impressive to me i've also just realized i have no ladders up so my men aren't going to be able to fuck up going in there so yeah i, I can just send them all in You guys? Oh, the enemy are just out of your reach. Or are they? Actually, no, they probably are, because Hailstorm rockets aren't exactly the best at uh, getting over. And yeah, you guys in there now as well. And we'll also send in Elspeth. Because like I said, she just needs to get in there to get some kills. Actually, go open this gate, and I'm going to throw my knights over here so they can go in that way. You guys are going to be next. Yeah, we'll get the gunners in there eventually. Can she? She can capture points, right? Yeah, she can. She's just do it. Just takes a little bit of time. Actually, I'm going to pull him out of there completely. I'm going to send him up here to go fight some uh, the skeletal warriors. Because him fighting down there, honestly, isn't worth it. Like, he's just... It's a waste of his time. It's a waste of our time. That steam engine or steam tank can go, you know, do some more useful stuff. So let's, uh... Get going a little bit quicker and we'll go fuck up these guys up here. I'm pretty sure we've killed all the really important stuff. We're also going to have to speed this up because, unfortunately, uh... I'm going to run out of time at this rate. Yeah, this steam tank does not give a shit. Nor will it probably ever give a shit. Elsbeth, get over here as well. Let's pull you out of there because you're actually getting hit quite hard and I don't like how hard you're getting hit. Well... He just went straight back in, though. The, the dude's a masochist. 
Now, their tech towers are going to be a problem, but oh yeah, you stop firing. Yeah, uh, we should be fine. I think this battle is probably just going to end in a second. At least I fucking hope so. Yeah, there we go. Decisive victory. We definitely lost a little bit more men than I wanted to lose, purely because I probably killed a few of my own, but uh, 500... We need another Emperor's Wrath. As soon as we get another Emperor's Wrath, we're going to be absolutely laughing our way all, to the, all the way to the bank. It's going to be great. Because the vampires are not going to know what's hit them when we have two of them. And because they're elect account units, we can definitely have two of them. I don't think there's a limit on how many elect account Like, if you spend enough turns, you should be able to get as many, and you should be able to get enough of them, which is going to be great. But uh, this is actually surprisingly turned around. I think annexing Avaland has actually been the best thing that's happened to us, which is surprising. Let us take it. There we go. Castle Templehof's now under my control. It's uh, back to tier one, but uh, eh, not really that fast. And she's got her dragon. She's also got the silver bullets as well. Elspeth von Drachen. But more importantly than anything else, now has a uh, an Amethyst Outrider recruitable. Uh, what do I get rid of? To you know what? As much as I like. Uh, this Empire Knight right here. I think the I think this will be better. Uh yeah, it's it's it is actually better. The Dark Lady of I call upon and there we go, there's another free grand and 450 schematic. So yeah, money is on our Master money is just in our favor right now, which is good. Uh all right, we do I think Dottenbach, we are going to need to prepare you for like prepare defenses here. Purely because, you know, I know my luck. And I'm pretty sure there's no unique building there. We are slowly crawling back up here. Oh, yeah. How Dark many turns Lady until... Uh, no. Ten more turns. That's brilliant. Work to do. Uh, let me give you the silver bullets just Is because this, this army just needs new people. Operation. But most For importantly, Karina she's now level and 16 no. and we need free to get to that. So I'm going to focus on getting to that next. So I'm gonna do the Dark Lady. This belongs in my arc. This lad, this lad, um, he's gonna go again. Keep going up there. You know, makes sense. And uh, yeah, I think we've actually put Vlad into like how much money does he still has money? That's a problem. If Vlad has money, it means he's still on the fence in terms of fighting. Uh, I intend to, you know, get happy with you, but the Wargrove of Woe, she's going to be an enemy, so we're not going to be friends with her at the moment. Uh, we're going to get these, and then we're going to get money out of you. And I know that the part has ended, I just want to do this before I, uh, you know, end the recording for the week. And Reichland's very close to, uh, being annexable, which is beautiful. Um, anything else we can do? We could upgrade you, but there's no point. Um, and I think, yeah, I want to get at least one Ironsider next. But, uh, yeah. In the next part, we should be able to actually take over uh, um, Castle Drakenhof. That's my to goal, Empire, is to take Drakenhof, I think. The elements must be for very strong. obvious reasons. Let me take uh, I'm also going to recruit this guy as well. I, this is a very mishmash army for now, but fiction. two strong Pioneer armies taking over points. the territory. Going to be great. But like I said, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, please do follow me on YouTube. Leave a like, leave a comment, leave a share. But most importantly, guys, stay safe. Have a great day. Join the channel memberships if you're interested. And I'll see you all in the next one. See you guys then.